This is a historic acquisition for Microsoft. The biggest video game acquisition ever and one of the biggest tech acquisitions ever. And that says a huge amount about Microsoft's strategy here because Microsoft is spending, you know, almost $69 million to acquire Activision Blizzard. CEO Satya Nadella is talking about his metaverse ambitions and that gaming is actually a huge priority for Microsoft. Being one of the biggest tech companies in the world, that's going to set off a notice from Apple and Google and all the other tech companies investing in gaming. And that is kind of like the next frontier for the tech industry. There are a lot of questions about Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick and whether or not he's going to stay with the company past the merger completion by June 2023. Bobby Kotick has said in an email to employees, I'm staying on as CEO, but his letter is phrased in a way to say the deal completes in 2023 and I'm staying on. That was, you know, kind of vague wording and people were not sure. And there are a lot of media reports including from the Wall Street Journal saying that sources have said that Kotick will step down and that he will actually have a quite a nice exit package for leaving the company. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella, he actually emailed employees today as well. And he said that the Microsoft gaming segment of the business will be overseen by Phil Spencer, who is currently head of Xbox. He's going to be promoted to become you know, CEO of Microsoft Gaming, and then Activision Blizzard will report to Phil Spencer. Microsoft and Activision Blizzard have said that games from Activision Blizzard, like Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, broadly Activision Blizzard games will then be found on Xbox Game Pass. What happens to Call of Duty? We don't know if Call of Duty is going to continue its annual release schedule. Will it kind of get the influence of Halo? Will Call of Duty then also become free to play? These are just questions that don't really have answers right now. The deal has not been solidified yet. It's pending regulatory approval, so we just don't know yet. Activision Blizzard employees have been trying to unionize for a while now. However, Microsoft then buying Activision Blizzard really puts a wrinkle into those plans. The people I've spoken to, the people who are working on these efforts, they are not sure how this will impact uh, unionization efforts. For now, Activision Blizzard is autonomous from Microsoft, so it shouldn't be impacted. But if you know a union were to try to appear next year after the deal is completed, that would be different than it would have to get acknowledgement from Microsoft itself. And then you'd have to look at the history of Microsoft and see if they have been union friendly. I mean, in the past, not so much. Microsoft has said that in, in regards to culture concerns, it's really looking for Activision Blizzard to do that work. And it says that it likes the progress it's seen, but employees are kind of concerned and think that it still hasn't gone far enough. There are pushes for studios to unionize and to hold companies more accountable. So that is a trend that we're seeing emerge even more in 2022.